I'm Major General Jim Atkins, the Adjutant General of Maryland. The Maryland National Guard has a distinguished history. Our soldiers held the line and helped save General Washington's army in 1776 at the Battle of Long Island. We defended Fort McHenry in Baltimore in 1814, a battle that inspired our star-spangled banner. We came ashore on D-Day helping to liberate Europe from Nazi Germany. In every conflict, we have answered our nation's call. Since 9-11, we have mobilized and deployed more than 10,000 soldiers and airmen. Just after the attack on the Pentagon, a symbol of our nation's strength, we rushed our military policemen there to secure the site. Our chaplains provided spiritual support during the recovery effort. We helped manage the airspace around the Pentagon with our air traffic controllers. We protected critical infrastructure around our nation's capital. Our soldiers and airmen have contributed to every major operation in which our nation is involved. We have traversed the rugged mountains of Afghanistan in search of the world's most wanted terrorists, traveled IED-laden roads in Iraq, guarded prisoners in Guantanamo Bay, flew close air support missions for troops in contact with the enemy, and conducted emergency air resupply during combat operations. We have refurbished schools for children in Bosnia, provided medical help to those who needed it most in Senegal and the Dominican Republic, and helped keep a precious peace in Kosovo and the Sinai and supporting humanitarian efforts in the Horn of Africa. And we continue our long-term partnership with Bosnia-Herzegovina and the Republic of Estonia as part of our state partnership program. Marylanders everywhere can take great pride in the men and women of the Guard who time and again answer the call to service overseas. All during these deployments, we have been able to respond to the needs of our citizens here at home. We responded to hurricanes in Louisiana, Mississippi, and Texas, and supported the California wildfires recovery. We protected our border in Arizona and New Mexico during Operation Jumpstart. We have also taken care of our neighbors at home during back-to-back -back blizzards and ice storms that crippled the region. During the various snow emergencies, we have fought fires, helped law enforcement, and saved lives by transporting patients and even delivered babies. We were also called for the flooding for the hurricanes of Isabel and Hannah and other storms in Maryland. We have worked with local law enforcement to help keep our streets safe and drug free. We flew observation missions during the DC sniper crisis. Today, members stand just as tall as past generations. They have fought in our wars and responded to emergencies and disasters across our country and state. Our men and women are well-trained and well-motivated to assist their neighbors in times of distress. They represent the best of Maryland, and I am proud of their accomplishments as they have left their homes and families to serve their state and nation. I am grateful that we have such fine men and women that join our ranks, but it would not be possible unless they had the support of their family friends, employers, and their communities. Thank you.